What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today I'm bringing you guys another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. Now, it's been a little while since I've been on this game, so forgive me if there's any rustiness, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into it. I don't know what job we were on, um, but I guess we'll see. Because I really want to move forward in the career mode of this game, and also get into more of the, um, nicer repair shops, actually. Because there are nicer repair shops than the starting one. But I haven't seen them yet, so let's see what we can do with uh, with getting a bunch of repairs done as quickly as possible. Now, let's look at the repair order for this. I don't know what we have to do. Find and eliminate the problem. Um, car has, a, has huge mileage and is starting to sound terrible when turning. Uh, let's take it for a test drive and see. Because a lot of these things, you could solve them by taking it out for a well. Not solve them, but they can be easier to find by taking them out for a test drive. Acceleration does feel a bit slow, but... Oh! Well, that's weird. I don't know, the car was lurching really, really oddly in the corner. Brake! This car, this particular car, does these weird lurching motions. I don't know what it's like. I don't know what the deal is with the. Uh, well, that's failed. <laughs> that's failed. Man, if that was Gran Turismo, they would have made me restart. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, this thing is a lot of understeer. Horrible understeer issues. And brake. There we go. So, horrible understeer issues, and the suspension, I don't know, it felt a bit weird. I feel like just the, the only way I can describe that is that it was weird. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and look, but actually, I'm just gonna take one of the tires off, or one of the wheels off, I guess you'd say, and I'm gonna look in there and look behind the wheel, see if there's anything in there um, that's look, that looks like it's a problem, but I'm also, if there's nothing in there that looks like it's a problem, I'm gonna also put this thing up on the lift and see. Now, if I do the parts kit, aha, aha, okay, yeah, that's an issue. There's our issue right there. Actually, go out right to the other side, and I'll check the rear end of the car. But I'm pretty sure that um, all of our issues are right up here. Yeah, oh yeah, right up, right up here with these uh, drive axles. Uh, oh, there it is. I, I was like, where's the thing? Alright, so we're gonna need to go and get replacement parts for these. And, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna check the rear end, and I'm gonna see if there's anything wrong back there, but... I don't think there's going to be. Because they usually have... They usually have the problem kind of centered in one area, so... If they do, then we're good, because I don't want to have to, like, be digging around in, in this, like deep into this car just to try and find the proper part, well, the part, the part that we need to replace, because I've, I'm pretty sure that we've figured it out. Uh, assemble, not disassemble, assemble mode. Oh, I forgot to, oh, I forgot to, there, I forgot to screw it in, that's why. <laughs> I forgot to use the, to screw that bolt in. That's why it wouldn't let me put the wheel back on. I may have just put the left wheel on the right side of the car. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's going to matter. We'll see. I don't think it would, but... Like I said, though, we'll see. Um, no. Assemble. There we go. Stick that in there. And if I could pan the camera out. There we go. That's what I wanted. That should be the only thing we need to do to this car, but like I said, I'll put it up on the lift, and I'll check all around the other side of the car just to see. Um, but also, let me just check the repair order. Oh, well, I don't need to do any anything else then. There, we're good. Yes, I do want to proceed to the next order. We got 1400 bucks for that. That's not bad at all. What are we going on to next? Is it complicated? <laughs> Check the exhaust. I hit something hard on a bumpy road and I assume that it broke one of the exhaust pipes. Examine it, please. Hmm. 
Yes, gladly, sir. I'll gladly examine the exhaust system of your van. Um, let's see. Uh, as far as examining the exhaust system goes, all we have to do, honestly, is just examine it. So, that's fine. The muffler's fine. Pipe's fine. Middle muffler, wow. All fine. So, oh. Uh, okay. Mid middle pipe is bad. Middle pipe is very bad, so we're gonna need to... Let's see if we can pan the camera so we can take all this stuff off properly. And then we're gonna need to, um, we're gonna need to take the middle pipe out because the middle pipe is, uh, is screwed. It's had it. Oh, come on. There we go. Sometimes it's hard to screw, to get these screws out because they're so tiny. I mean, I suppose, I suppose you could zoom in, couldn't you? Yeah, you can. <laughs> And you're doing it from a weird angle anyway, so it's kind of hard to actually do it. Yeah, this is what needs to come out. In fact, I'll just check the rest of the exhaust system to make sure, but this is what needs to come out. Got it off, and examine. Yeah, the rest of the exhaust system seems to be fine. Yeah, it's all good. Um, let me just see. I don't think we can repair this, but we might as well check anyway. Uh, yeah, no repairable parts in inventory. Alright, uh, come on, there we go, load up the computer, jeez. Uh, okay, car parts shop, and middle exhaust, uh, exhaust pipe middle, there we go. And just gotta bolt this back up to the car and we'll be good to go, well, I say car, van. <laughs> just have to bolt this, ba bleh, bolt this back up to the van and we'll be good to go. I wonder when they'll actually have us work on some, some decent, you know, high, per well, not high performance cars, because I don't think there are any in the game, but, like, at least higher, like, higher performance cars. At least, you know, something other than, like, delivery vans and stuff, delivery vans and hatchbacks. Next bit, muffler middle, get that on, get that screwed in properly. Uh-huh, uh-huh, there we go. Rear pipe. I enjoy this game. I just, I enjoy this game because it's another, it's just, and I know I've said before that it's relaxing, but if you guys, like, if you guys feel like you need a, a game that's just, like, relaxing and really chill to play, try out Car Mechanic Simulator. It's really, it really, really is a really chill game to play. I really like it. Lower it down off the lift, and let's see if we've completed everything in the actual repair order. Yes, we have. Proceed to the next order. So far, so far, the repair orders we've been doing have been pretty simple, but usually they don't stay, like, simple in this game for very long. Like, they have, you have a few simple jobs, and then you have a harder one. Let's see, find and eliminate the cause. The cause of what? The faster I drive, the louder this horrible noise gets. I also notice that the dashboard lights are getting dimmer. That's weird. Uh, let's, let's take it for a test drive and see if we can figure it out out there on the test track, um, and see if we actually hear this noise, and then bring it back and, um, and see what we can do to actually fix it. Oh god, look at the textures in the mirrors. Ugh, that might, well, to be fair, that might be because of my, because of the settings I have this game on graphically, just because I want to get a smoother, uh, smoother recording of it, but, oh god, I've gone off the track. I've gone off the track. Yeah, this thing understeers. Brake, brake, brake. Oh, the brakes are horrible. The brakes are horrible. Absolutely Terrible. These brakes are freaking horrible. I mean, I know I'm repeating myself on that, like as far as how horrible the brakes are, but they are. They are. They're they're terrible. I mean, I was going so far as to say these brakes are shit because they are. Uh, talk about body roll, God. Body roll for days. Nearly there, and break real early because this thing has crappy, crappy, crappy brakes. That was like, that took a much longer uh, time to break than the last car we had out on the test track. I mean, way longer. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the show hide parts condition deal, and let's put it up on the lift first to just look under it and see if we can see anything from there. Uh... 
Don't see anything glowing red. Actually, actually, I'm going to bring it back down. And I'm going to bring it back down and look in the engine. Look at the engine compartment, and I might also run a scan on the car. I'm not sure about that, but we might. Aha! Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Clean belt. Okay, 80%, but the alternator is in horrible shape. Horrible, horrible shape. And I think it can actually repair it. Yes, I can, actually. Took me a little bit to find, but didn't take too long. Stick that back in. Hopefully that's the only part that's uh, that's messed up on this car. Stick the belt back on. Here we go. And go ahead and shut that hood and see. Let me just check the checklist. Oh yes, no problem. Man, these are actually getting quite simple, to be honest with you. These are getting quite simple. I haven't had a really hard uh, hard repair in a while. Uh, find the solution. Uh, I can barely afford a car, but I managed to buy one myself, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't start, though. Uh, help me, please. I only have $300 left, and I need it working before I can show it to my parents. Wow, you bought a car before that? Um, Alrighty, let's see. So, his ignition is has gone bad. So... Wow, dude, this is in a pretty bad state. <laughs> I may have figured it out. Don't quote me on that yet, but I think I may have figured it, figured out what's wrong here. Aha! 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 Okay. Now, we're gonna have to do the spark plugs one by one as well? Yes, we are. Okay, so that's the issue. The spark plugs are all bad. So are the ignition wires. Now, can we... I don't think we can fix these. Yeah, no. I, I was like, I don't think we can fix these. We're gonna have to order new ones. Let's see. Um, okay. We need, we need ignition wires and we need spark plugs. Now, okay, ignition wires, just go ahead and just get that, and then, I wonder if it'll let us buy spark plugs just, like, a whole bunch at a time. Nope, we have to buy them one by one. That's one, two, three, four. Thank you. Hello, there we go. <laughs> it was, like, not letting me into the engine for a second. Uh-oh, that's zoomed in really far. Here we go. Now that we're zoomed in really far, it's actually easier to put these in. <laughs> Trust me, when you go to start this thing, it's going to start up way better the next time you go to start it. Oh, believe me, my friend. Get the engine cover back. Alright. Just make sure you may present the car to your parents now, my friend. Proceed to the next order. Still, I mean, we're just, like, powering through these orders, man. Maybe, I'm guessing... Well, actually, I don't want to guess. Uh, replace rubber bushings. Uh, my rubber bushings are gone. They're just gone. Okay. <laughs> that's, like, the first job I've ever... Like, I've had in a while that's actually told me what to do. Like, that's actually just, like, said, Here, do this. Because very few of them actually say... You know, oh, here, do this. Hello. There we go. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, 12%. Yeah, those have gone bad. Real bad. Just need two new rubber bushings. That should be it. Going down the list, down the list, down the list. Dang, where are you? <laughs> where are you? I've, yeah, I've gone past it. <laughs> there they are, there they are. I should have realized that I went past it.
I'm going to have to put that other wheel on as well. I don't know why I took that off. And yes, we need assemble mode. And we don't need that condition thing on because it's not showing the condition of the parts anyway. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And insert the other bushing. We should be good to go. Aha! Yeah, there we go. Okay. That's what I forgot to do. That's what I forgot to do. Sorry. At least it's right on the page where we need it to be, so we can just buy two more rubber bushings and we're good to go. I don't know why I forgot those. Guess I just wasn't paying attention or something. Alright, oh, there. Switch modes. Let's take the first one back in. And... Wow, that actually, I didn't know, I didn't know if it was actually going to do that. I, I, I didn't know if it would just, like, move the camera through the entire car. But it did. That was actually pretty cool. Now your car should be good to go, sir. Yes, it is. Repaired. Um, I'm tempted to guess what's going to be next, but I kind of don't want to at the same time. Let's see, repair leaking pump and check the, uh, timing belt. This car, uh, d drives my crazy. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Anyway, uh, I have already replaced all spark plugs and now, and now that. Guess what? <laughs> Water, uh, wow, whoever did this text, um, yeah. Whoever, whoever wrote this needs to sit back down in, in at least five to ten minutes of an English class. Uh, water pump started to leak, and this liquid could have damaged one of the belts. Blah, blah, blah. Check it in repair, please. Okay, gotcha. Blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get down here to the side. Condition unknown. 86%. All right, we're good there. Uh, what, what's the next thing we're gonna take off? Oh, that. Okay. Belt tensioner. Ah, come on! Dang, camera. So, according to him, the belt... Belt's fine. About the idler pulley. Fine. Wait, why am I unscrewing this when I could be checking the thing? I don't know, when I could be examining it. Uh... Oh, the water pump's 1%. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, that's what we need to buy. That's why we dis disassembled that stuff. That's brilliant. Just as long as we can find it. Except for the fact that I don't know... There it is, water pump. I wonder if you could switch out the rims. Like, if I could get it, I could, like, buy massive, you know, rims, give him massive rims on his van. <laughs> he probably wouldn't like me very much because I'd charge him for it. I'd charge him, like, a huge extra amount for it. Symbol mode. Let's get this new water pump in there. Real quick, though, let me check the... Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Yeah, get that new water pump screwed in. And, okay, we need these, yeah, we need these pulleys and tensioners in before we can put, well, we don't need the tensioner in first. We can put the tensioner in afterwards. Serpentine belt. Yeah, okay, come on, camera. Jeez, okay, now we can get the tensioner on. And that should be it for the order. Yes, it is, repaired. Proceed to the next order. Dang, these are seriously flying. I think, let's see, as far as, as far as what we're going to do next, I'm, I don't know, I'm going to guess something suspension related. Something suspension related. Uh, test car on the diagnostic path. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Um, I heard you can have a, your car tested on your, uh, or that. God, my steam's going off. That's not your steam. Anybody that's watching, it's not your steam. It's mine. Um, I heard, th ah, shut up, steam! I heard I can have my car tested on your diagnostic path. Um, basically a dyno. Uh, I wanted to be sure everything is okay before I go on my summer trip. I think it's basically a dyno anyway. 
We're in a new repair shop. Dude, this is legit. All right. Um, I, this is where I'm going to end it off for this episode because in the next episode, we're officially starting um, our, well, progressing in our career in this new repair shop. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.